like your style Put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile Girl I swear for you I'd run the world, I'd run the miles The way you look at me I think I'm going insane Alright everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. I thought we were done with this environment, this particular environment, but we're not. We finished last night on number 19. It's Tyreek Hill, the cheater. One of my favourite players, although he did go through a bit of off-field controversy throughout the year. Now, today, we're going to crack back into it. I've got my laptop, as you can see, or what's left of it. I've got the TV in front of me. And, uh, well, I'll see you in a minute. I have a feeling that after today, it's going to be a little bit harder for me to set this up and get going with the reactions. So, so I want to get as many as I possibly can in before I leave this apartment. What? Tyreek Hill's video is only a minute 55 long. That's the shortest one so far. How is that possible? That doesn't even cover a quarter of his receptions in the league last year. Um, okay, Tyreek Hill must have got a thousand receiving yards. I'm going to get some pre-workout and I'll see you in a minute. Nick Minute. Maybe I'm not. I think I've packed it up. Damn it! Oh well, you do what you got to do, don't you? Let's get into it. I want to get down to number 10 by the time we leave this apartment. The date is the 6th of August, it's 8.30 in the morning. Let's get into it. Tari Kill. That's all right, man. Like this is a, a receiver heavy league. Um, you, you could ask, you know, twenty guys uh, who's the top receiver, and uh, you probably get like twelve different answers. So uh, that's how you know stacked the, the league is with receivers right now. But my favorite to watch because we have such different body types. I like Tyreek Hill. Okay, that is thirty seconds of the minute fifty-four that we're going to watch on Tyreek Hill. Did they purposely not put much footage on him because of the fact that he had those off-field incidents? I'm not sure. Let's get into it. He makes like consistent catches that you know, a guy of his size that would make. He's a really complete receiver. Oh my lord! The overall players in the game, in my opinion. When you're in the league for a while, there's a lot of fast guys. You get out That hit was insane. He got crushed, and he got straight back up from it. Respect. Yeah, he is. Too much speed, just too much speed. He's got a, he's got a 10 second flat 100. That is a different level of speed, absolutely. That's the thing that stood out to me. As, as, soon, as, I as soon as I saw him, my first reaction on Tyreek Hill, I actually went down a bit of a YouTube rabbit hole and I started watching his sprints. And I did a whole reaction on Tyreek Hill's different sprint lengths 60, 100, 200. I think that was about it, but I was blown away by his speed. And that was before he had all these awesome receptions last year. So he, for me, after watching him, for me, after coming into the league for only a year, he's definitely, definitely one of my favourite players to watch. One of the more exciting players in the game. Obviously the speed makes him dynamic, but when you actually focus in on what he's doing, when you look at his footwork and his releases, it's happening really fast. It's Too fast. Like foot chatter, kind of like he's oh, what the fuck? How did he do that? It's happening really fast. He Left. Right. Foot. Get. It is. No, that's that. That's like foot chatter, kind of. So he's coming off his right. Right. He's going left, right. So he's going right, left, right, really quickly yeah. before basically. As fast as the naked eye can see. This is it's happening really fast, so you just look at it as like foot chatter, kind of like he's just pattering his feet. But the man really knows what he's doing. He's working on his game. He's trying to take it to the next level, and, and you can see it. You're you way too open today. He's a, actually a guy who knows how to play fantasy football. You watch him play. You watch the technique. You watch him run routes. He understands what's going on. I didn't take long. I'm 
touchdown. The cheetah's loose. At the 50, at the 40, at the 30. Yeah. Okay. There's something up with that. There is absolutely something up with that video. A minute 54. We only had two players talking about him. Or three. And we saw like two, two clips. What the fuck? What in the actual fuck? I'm disappointed with that. Or maybe I shouldn't be. Anyways, guys, we're going to move on. No time to lose. In the next one, we've got Ezekiel Elliott, a running back. Yes. I'll see you then, guys. If you've liked this video, if you've liked the series, you want to support me and the channel, hit the like button. If you want to support Tyreek Hill in this upcoming season, hit the like button. And that is about all i got to say, guys. I don't know about that, man. Should we look at some stats? Let's, let's extend the video a tiny bit. I just want to... I mean, he was one of my favorite receivers to watch throughout the league, and then we've just seen nothing. Seems almost criminal. No pun intended. Um, wide receiver return specials. 5'10". He went the 165th pick in the 2016 draft to the Kansas City Chiefs. He's been the Pro Bowl, been the Pro Bowl every single year since he's been in there. He made the first team all pro in the first year and last year. 429 for the 40 yard dash, although he's been clocked at faster than that. 40 and a half inches on the vertical, nearly 11 feet on the broad jump. It's absolutely ridiculous. On April 26, 2019, Chiefs general manager Brett Veach announced that Hill was suspended from team activities as a result of ongoing child abuse investigation. Child abuse. You know what? I'm actually getting these two confused. Bloody Hill and Hunt. The NFL announced on July 19th that he, wouldn't, he will not be disciplined for the investigation because the league felt he did not violate the personal conduct policy. And we're going to leave it there. Last year, 16 games, 87 receptions for 1,479 yards at an average of 17 yards per reception. 12 touchdowns. 22 rushes for 151 yards, 6.8 rushes per attempt, one touchdown. 213 returns for one yard. 213 returns for one yard. Does that mean he never, does that mean in every single punt, it was either a fair catch, a touchback, or he just let it go? Let me know guys, anyways, let's move on. Ezekiel Elliott, I cannot wait. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.